guys welcome back to my channel my name is Alex or welcome back if you're new I'm a full-time reseller online and I sell on places like Poshmark, Macari, eBay, Etsy and I have an antique booth so if you like everything reseller related content or if you just like the occasional purse haul or thrifting in general please feel free to hit the subscribe button and stick around so in today's video I have another haul as or as usual um and I think I might have some footage I might I might put that in before this video just depending on how much it is and the angles because I was trying to do TikTok and uh, film for TikTok and film for YouTube but um, I'm not sure how much footage I got at the thrift store so to record a video in a couple of weeks actually so um that is going to be this haul from like probably two weeks um i have let's see i have two large bags here but i also have a couple of other bags i'm not sure depending on how long this video is if i'm going to do it all in one sitting or if i'll break it up into two videos but um yeah let's just get into it so <clears throat> I have a couple of um, pieces of home decor and this is just all like random it's not in any particular order and some of the prices are still on here and some of them I did forget <laughs> so um, and some of the stuff is listed and some of it isn't so like uh, all the other videos if anyone is interested in anything please um, you know check the description box I do have my stores listed or you can comment down below um, but yeah so the first couple of things are gonna be like home decor so I got two of these um, and they are like wooden leaves uh, like a trinket dish or I think they're like called monkey pods or monkey wood I can't remember but something along those lines um, so I got two of them they do have on the back engraved um, <clears throat> I can't read okay house of Kalai K-O-A Hawaii I'm not even sure if you're gonna be able to see that but it's engraved something Hawaii in there so I thought these were really pretty I did go ahead and like put a little bit of oil on them so they are super shiny um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with these yet I have been watching a lot of thrifting home decor YouTube videos recently and I've been like on a thrifting kick trying to add some pieces to my own home so I'm not sure if I will be keeping these keeping one or selling them um, I'm not exactly sure yet and I picked up a couple of cutting boards um, I think these are the only two that I picked up actually so I picked up this one that has like the leather rope and it has like all of this um, 
lines well I guess it's not really too many but it's like two toned or three tones we have the natural wood the darker in the middle and then like right here like a medium color um, on the back it did have like this huge sticker right here I peeled it off but it's, it's still super sticky so I might try to remove it with some alcohol to see if I can get that removed and this one actually still does have a price even though I've washed it several times, $3.93, which was a little bit pricey, but um, this one is, this one does say teak wood, and I know teak wood can get kind of expensive. Oh, and then these two leaves, I think, were like a dollar each, maybe. Um, and then the second one that I got was this large, uh, well, it's not really large, but it's a little bit thicker. Um, cutting board well actually i think it's more like of a hot plate um because it's smoother so the texture really isn't for cutting um because it's a little bit on the slippery slippery side um and this one was i don't know how much maybe like three dollars also so i got these and as far or for now i am keeping those two i have been using them so um I'm not sure if I will decide to sell those later, but those for right now I have been using in my kitchen. And I did pick up a couple of baskets. Um, I actually have to go get the other basket. Okay, I forgot that I had picked up several other baskets, so I'm back. So I picked up this uh, little um, woven basket. It has um, like the lighter color and the darker color right on the handles. Um, it has little handles right here. Um, this one probably I will sell. Maybe it'll go in my antique booth, but um, I think this was like a couple of dollars. I don't remember the exact price, but I was trying to see if I can use it in my kitchen and put some fruit in there or like uh, lemons or something, but I ended up getting another um, bowl for that and I'll show you all that here. Um, and then I picked up this basket. It's like, um... I don't know like a light blue red and green and then it has like the natural brown in there it does say made in the philippines um it's pretty cute i guess this would be good for like but um rolls or biscuits or something but i'm using it um to hold like my fish food over here by my fish tank actually um so i can group all the food together so it doesn't look all crazy over there um and then the last basket that I got was this long one. Oh, and this one was like probably like $1.50, I think. Um, and then the last basket I got was this long rectangular one. Um, I got it just to hold my chargers and stuff while I'm working in the kitchen. Um, I have like a large window. Um, window i guess it's more like a window seat but no one sits there so i put this there so i can keep all my computer chargers and stuff because i use that to work over there um and then i got a couple more wooden pieces um i got this wooden bowl i got this originally to use in my kitchen for fruit but it just wasn't large enough to hold all of the fruit i still might consider keeping it and um using it maybe for my avocados or i don't know but um i don't think there's any engravings in there it does have a few like scratches or cracks right there but i did put some oil on this one too and i think this one's really pretty if i would have found like a bigger one to hold all of the fruit i definitely would have kept that one um and then i got this other little um i guess like a serving tray also similar to the leaf ones um and all of these were like a couple of dollars each but i'm not sure if this one came with like more um maybe like four more or like four in total but i only saw this one there um like i said a couple of dollars this one probably will get sold as well and the last kind of like basket oh i think i got was this large one it is like um i don't know it's like stone or maybe um clay but it is the pampered chef family heritage collection um if y'all can see it at the bottom 
I got this huge one because I was putting my fruit in there and my um, like bananas and avocados and limes and stuff on my counter um, it is it does have like a lot of wear to it as you can see it's like super um, I guess kind of discolored but I don't know I've obviously heard of the pampered chef but I don't really um, know like how much the retail value is I think I paid a dollar for this and it had like all of these um, spoons and utensils in there but they were all like plastic um, there was a couple of wooden ones I kept um, and yeah this one was a dollar at a garage sale um, and actually over the week and this past weekend we ended up having a garage sale I found like a local ad like on next door saying that this local church was going to be like renting out their parking lot spaces um, to have like a large garage sale or yard sale over there so it was probably like six other people selling so we ended up joining and it was like per donation so we could have donated any amount um, that we wanted to so we packed up all of our stuff and took it over there um, to sell um, stuff that wasn't selling in my Poshmark um, stuff that wasn't um, stuff that my kids had they took it over there so that's where I found that bowl and it was this past Saturday so like the Memorial Day um, weekend and we ended up doing pretty good I think we made um, all together about four hundred dollars um, I think each of us made about 100 my husband sold one item a tool and he sold it for 150 I ended up selling um, quite a bit of clothing um, super cheap I think it was like 50 cents to a dollar um, and I sold maybe I think I made like um, $130 my daughter sold some of her toys and she made like 50 bucks my son sold his Pokemon cards and he sold and he made like $95 I think so they were really happy about that selling their stuff and making some money um, and uh, Saturday was like great weather it was overcast it was cloudy it was a little bit windy um, and we got there like around 7 40 ish to set up it was from 8 until 2 or 3 but we ended up leaving like around um, 12 45 1 o'clock I think because um, it had died down a lot so anyway short interlude but yeah we pick I picked that up there back to the hall um, I don't actually think I picked up a whole lot of shoes in these last couple of weeks because I did have a lot and um, my storage was like at capacity for shoes but um, since I sold quite a few at the garage so I have more space so I picked up these um, like loafers I guess heeled block heel loafers um, it does have like the little tassels right here and these are by coach you can see it in there I picked these up at the Goodwill um, I think I paid like maybe eight dollars they're in really good condition the hill looks pretty um, good the bottoms minimal wear um, and these do look like a newer coach um, label right there so I think these are newer and then this one is from the boutique because it does say the 1941 on there I think that's um, when it is boutique or outlet i think the boutique ones say 1941 on there i believe so <laughs> so um yeah so then i picked up um some skirts so i picked up quite a bit of skirts i was scrolling through my pinterest uh, just like looking um at like home decor and fashion and stuff um and then i came across several posts of girls or like young women teenagers um wanting like long flowy maxi midi maxi skirts you know like the ones from um i guess maybe like late 90s early 2000s so i was thinking um i didn't know that they were like <laughs> becoming super popular but i saw so many posts of uh, people asking where they got them and people were like amazon they were like 40 50 dollars i was like wow that's a lot to spend and then i was like i bet i can find some um at the thrift store and see how good they do um and so i picked up 
I think like three or four. Um, I left some behind, but I picked the ones out that I thought um, that would do better. And actually I have sold a couple in the past. Um, they were like two um, like boho ones with rhinestones. Both of those sold in a bundle for like 35 or $40. And then I think I sold one more, but I can't remember. But um, but yeah, those did sell fairly quickly. They were plus size though. Um, and I thought I'd pick these up just to see. These I think, no, this one is not plus size, but this one is by the brand Versailles. And like I said before, typically um, with vintage stuff, the brand doesn't matter a whole lot. So this one is like a tiered, um, it's probably going to be a midi skirt and it's like large palm tree print, more like jungle, <laughs> jungle um, colors, I guess. And it has the browns and the greens, definitely very boho and flowy. Um, and I think all the skirts were like $4. Um, and then this one wasn't really um, like that trend. It was, but it wasn't. So this one is by the brand Susan Lawrence. I don't think this one, well, it does say made in the USA. So this one probably is um, vintage, but there's the tag. And this one is an extra large. I picked this one up based more on the style. This one has like buttons, like those black buttons going down the middle of the skirt. And the colors are really cool. It's definitely um, probably more fall than anything. It does have like some dark roses on it, but in the middle it has this slit. Um, right this is the slit i think is in the middle yeah so the slit is right where the buttons go and let me see if the buttons okay so the buttons are not real because i was thinking you could adjust the slit based on the buttons but um there's the buttons and i don't know if you can see like the slit in the middle so i thought that was pretty cool um and very cute it's very like slinky flowy material so i hope this one does do good um and let me see i know i picked up a couple more okay so this one is new with tags um and i might end up cutting the tags off because it says compare at 40 dollars, you pay 20. um and this one is by the brand metro wear right that's metro wear yeah metro wear um, 100% cotton and made in India. What size is this? I think, oh, this is also an extra large. So this is um, a tie-dye one and it has like lace, tiered um, lace, I don't know, cutouts in between the tiers. And I thought this one was really cute, really kind of like that style that people are probably gonna be looking for. Um, and this one might actually be a maxi skirt. It looks quite long, but yeah, I think that one will do pretty good. And I think this might be the last one. And this one is by the brand NY Collection. And this one is also made in India, 100% cotton. Um, Here's the tag. And this one is, is this also an extra large? No, this one's a large. So this one is um, longer than all the other ones. So this one's definitely gonna be a maxi skirt. And it has like the, I don't know, it, it's like tie dye also, but um, it looks more like it has a pattern than like actual tie dye. Um, so I thought this one was really cool. Also, it's very lightweight, perfect for the summer. This one will probably do good as well. Um, and yeah, I thought this was super cute. Hopefully none of those have holes in it. I tried to look through as good as possible, but sometimes with all that fabric, it's kind of hard to see if there's holes. And then I picked up this dress. This one doesn't even have a brand or anything. The brand was cut out 
or no size but I picked this one up based on style so it's definitely vintage it has like that um what is it almost like a semi square neck um and it's like a burgundy color with like black trim and this one has a super high slit on the side and honestly it reminds me of like resident evil like the girl who wore the dress from resident evil even though it's not as bright red as that one um it reminds me of i don't know like those 90s movies where it has like the super high slits on the side i don't know maybe i'm crazy for picking this up but i know someone would want this um and it has like a floral design all throughout so yeah i'm just gonna have to give measurements and take really good pictures because i do think this is really cute um someone would probably want it i could totally see this being like um like a gothic um dress um because it has dark colors so the next thing i got i was watching someone's um thrift haul and they were talking about this brand they were talking about this athletic brand and i never had heard of it it's called zaya active so i came across it at the thrift store when they were having 50 percent off and it's like a moon like a half moon um logo this was 4.99 but half off so i paid 250 it is just a like windbreaker zip up jacket um it has like rainbow stripes on the side of the arms and actually these stripes really remind me of uh the aviator nation brands but yeah it's just like those lightweight um athletic jackets and then this one is a size medium but it definitely feels like it might be oversized so i'm not sure how that one is going to do um when i was watching the a couple of actually of hauls people were saying that that brand does really good i don't have really good luck at selling athletic wear so i guess we'll see how that one goes um the next item i got was this bag it is like a woven um boho bag it is like a black and white or like a creamy color um very on trend for summer i think i think these are gonna always be trending during summer and spring because of the um i guess boho vibes and this is by the brand america and beyond and i think that they sell this one at nordstrom's um i want to say that these are like maybe in the hundred dollar range i'm not sure but it does have a, f a little bit of wear here and there like these are up when they should be like you know down um but i think i pay like three or four dollars for this so this one should be hopefully the comps are good because i didn't look at them i just got it based on style maybe like 30 or 40 dollars i hope and i got a couple of bathing suits but for some reason i cannot find the bottoms to this um this one is a vintage christina one it's a tankini and oh, let me fix it this is the top it has like a blue purple teal ombre color going on and this one i think is a size 14 or 16. um it's a size 14 and this one came with like um bottoms that were like underwear you know panty style but the cut for the leg was super high cut so that's why i picked it up because i thought it was really cute um this one has gotten a couple of likes but it's not doing as good as the other ones that i picked up and i think that one was like five or six dollars i think um and then i know we're far from halloween but i picked up these pumpkin time halloween candles uh definitely vintage not sure what year but maybe 90s these are um kmart original price was 2.99 i don't even know how much i pay 
I paid $2.92. Wow. I should have asked for a lower price because that's literally how much they were retail. I didn't even realize it. So, uh, but yeah, they were new in the package and I thought these would be super cute either for me for decorating or maybe to putting in the antique booth. I'm not sure. Maybe they would be like 10 or $15 to resell. Not a huge amount. Um, and then I picked up actually a couple of fanny packs. I'm not sure if the other one is in here, but I picked up this Herschel one. It has all these um, birds on there and it has like these little leather zipper details. Um, it has like a little front pocket, a little back one, and there's the, the tag. I don't know, does that one say Herschel? Yeah, it does. And this one was like three or four dollars. I actually, I think I'm gonna keep this one because I used it for the garage sale for last Saturday. And um, I wore it like a true fanny pack, not like a belt bag across my chest. And it was really, it was a great, um, great to have to put money in, to take money out easily. So I really liked that. And then I got this. This is just um, a Target Wild Fable brand, um, but it is like um made in india 100 percent cotton i'm not sure how much these retailed for but this little bag like a woven cotton bag just like the other one but it's like a mini bag i thought it was super cute um i thought i'd try the style to see if i liked it so if i didn't like it then i could always resell it maybe plato's closet would even take it um if i couldn't sell it then i came across a couple of vintage toys um one already sold it was a littlest pet shop toy that one sold within a couple of days for 40 and then i got this vintage bratz doll uh well actually is this vintage i don't know what year this is dated um i'm not sure what year this is dated actually but i do know it's the older Bratz doll from like the early 2000s. Um, Yasmin, still in the package. This was the only one that they had or I would have picked up another one. Um, I don't know. I know people like the Bratz clothing and take uh, inspiration from it, dressing like them, but like actually buying the Bratz dolls, I'm, I'm not sure if, if this one's going to be a good pickup or not. I've gotten a few likes and interest, but I just don't know if this was a good pickup. I think I have it posted for like 25 or 30 and I paid a couple of dollars for it, so we will see. Then in this bag, I picked up quite a few sunglasses. Um, one already sold so i came across uh, a random 50 percent sale at this other thrift store and they had a ton of these um vintage kenneth cole glasses in there and they were all like from the 90s or early 2000s so i picked up this first pair and these are like definitely got that 90s vibe going on and remind me of the nirvana sunglasses um, I'm not sure what brand those were, but uh, these are still new with tags. The retail was $50, but um, just by the tag alone, um, you can tell that it's um, old. Okay, camera cut off. So yeah, but just by the tag alone, you can tell that they are older. Um, and I don't remember. They were $6, I think. So I think I have them listed. All of these are listed between like... 30 and 40 dollars i want to say um but that's the first pair i already sold one pair um of sunglasses for i think it was 38 dollars this is the second pair these are really cute pink ones they are the brand is unlisted but it's also by kenneth cole and here is a very 90s looking tag or y2k could be also um i kind of wish that these were dated but they are not um so all of these were about like two to six dollars um and then i picked up these these are diane carroll and these are not new but they are the black frame with the blue lenses and the other ones that sold were kenneth cole and they were the same style and color but they were new um 
So these are pretty cool, pretty cute. Um, another Kenneth Cole, these don't have the actual price tag, but these have like the sticker tag. I'm not quite sure if these are vintage, but um, they might be. They're like a ombre pink and yellow color. And I think I have one more pair. Yeah, I have one more pair. These are not Kenneth Cole, and I actually got these at a different thrift store when I was looking through the sunglasses. These are some Aviator sunglasses, and these are by the brand Serengeti. I'm not even sure if the brand is going to come up right there. Serengeti, and this has like a little bit of wear like on the ear part or the bar whatever this is called um but yeah these were a good find because these retail for over a hundred dollars and i think i have these actually listed for like 80 or 90 dollars um so hopefully they sell around there and i think i priced mine lower than a couple of the other listings that i saw on there um and then i picked up some earrings let me see they, I was looking through all the jewelry at this one thrift store. Um, all the jewelry is like super cheap. These were 99 cents. And as I was looking through, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to find any silver or gold, but these are stamped. Um, I can't read what it says, but it does say 925. And it's got some, let's see if I can fix it. So it's like this square and it has like some dangled stones right here it looks like tiger's eye um but it might be it might be like tiger's eye and something else mixed i'm not exactly sure um but i thought these were super cute i'm not sure jewelry for me is kind of a hard seller um it's hit or miss so i'm not sure if I can sell these, if they would do good, or if I should just try them on and keep them for myself. Um, but yeah, so back to the bathing suits. I picked up this other vintage bathing suit. Um, this one actually, I think on eBay, it has like 25 watchers or something, which is kind of crazy. Um, I'll have to find the bottoms, but it's just like this two piece um, rainbow bathing suit and it has a tie on the neck and then, and then like the clasp on the back. Let me see. Here's the bottoms. So the bottoms are also like the high cut. It's, the brand is Surfside. Let's see. So the bottoms are super high cut, just like similar to those blue ones that I showed y'all very high cut i thought these were super this was super cute and i have it posted for like 28 dollars. it's not even that expensive but like so many people are watching it for some reason no one has made any offers well i think i got one offer of ten dollars but i'm not gonna take that one um and then i picked up this i thought it was uh vintage wranglers but it is champion westerns permanent press um vintage maybe 80s so um, I think this was like a couple of dollars. It's like a floral button down and it has like the pearl snaps. And yeah, hopefully this does a good, hopefully I can make some money back because like I said, I thought it was um, Wranglers, but it was not sadly. Um, then I picked up this bathing suit it's not vintage, it's by the brand, what is it, Toluca? Yeah, Toluca. And I looked up comps and they were, and I think I saw like one or two that sold for $65. Um, let me fix it again. It's like this velvet uh, leopard print. It's like a nylon back with like a velvet leopard print detail on it. It's really cute really small for a medium it looks like to me um i have the bottoms there in here somewhere then i picked up this vintage john deere 
graphic shirt. Um, it has like a, one or two stains on it. It is, it has the year dated on here somewhere. I don't know, 1999? I thought it had the date on it. Um, I don't know, I can't find it, but it is a, a vintage one, a single stitch, it's double sided. I think both sides are the same. Um, I was hoping that this one would do good, considering like um, Carhartt and Bass Pro and all of that was good. I was thinking that maybe John Deere would be just as good, but I haven't really gotten too much interest on those, on that shirt, so I'm not sure how that one's going to do. Um, and then I picked up this vintage lingerie piece. It's by the brand Goddard Artemis. Um, there's the tag. And it is super cute with polka dots, polka dots and lace. Very cute, very, I think I, I think it was the 70s, maybe 80s. Like a lime green polka dot lace dress. Um, I paid a couple of dollars for that. And then this dress, I already sold this one. It is a vintage guest dress. Um, it's just nylon. There's the guest. And then on the back of the dress, it does have guest right there. And it's a tiger print um, halter. Here's halter, tiger print. Um, I guess like a body con dress, but I labeled it as a scary spice dress because that's literally what it reminded me of, of scary spice. Um, and that one sold, I think for $20. Um, and then I picked up this vintage faded glory dress or not dress skirt. It is a denim skirt with, um, the lace up detail right there in the middle and all the fading right there on the front and then on the back it has like the raw edge right around here a little bit distressing no back pockets actually little interest on this one as well maybe denim skirts aren't uh popular anymore i don't know and i picked up this really cool vintage beaded purse this was in really great condition usually when i find these beaded purses like this um they're not in the best condition they're usually like super dirty and gross on the inside but this one's really clean and this is by the brand y and s let me see y and s oops oops this was like four or five dollars. The skirt I think was like five dollars. The dress I think was like seven dollars. And then I picked up this super cute vintage Winnie Pooh um, tank top. <laughs> I could see someone taking this to Disney vacation. Um, and I think this one had maybe like a stain or two. No, I don't think this one did. It's super cute, um, an XL, and it does have a poo tag. I thought that was super cute. This one also hasn't gotten too much interest, um, but fingers crossed they do sell. I picked up some more Faded Glory pinstripe shorts. I love the, this style, but I just um, think it's me <laughs> that only loves it. But I could totally see these with like a uh, the poo shirt or with like a um, a vintage band tee that would be really cute and some doc martens but i picked these up for a couple of bucks also oh and here's the bottoms of that black swimsuit these are also high cut really high cut but they're super cute um and then the last piece of this haul and then i'm probably gonna do like a separate haul for the other bags is this vintage wooden plaque with an owl on it um this is totally 70s um i think that was big for the owl decor maybe 60s 60s 70s um and it does have like a thing to hang up on the back i think this was like a dollar um i thought this was super cute it does have a little bit of damage but i think someone could totally still use it and hang it up
so I hope y'all enjoyed the haul. Um, comment down below letting me know what is your favorite out of everything. I think my favorite thing out of everything is probably um, going to be like the wooden bowl. Maybe this one or my other um, big concrete whatever material bowl it is that I got. Um, just because I have been looking for one for a little bit and I finally found two options, although um, not exactly what I was looking for, but still I can make it work. So um, please stick around for a part two of this haul because I'm about to record it now. Um, it'll probably go up next week though. I have pushed down my schedule of recording um, just because I have been trying to find um, a balance of recording now that my kids have gotten out for summer for school so I'm trying to see what works best um, I was doing like three videos a week and then two and then three and then now one so I think I'm probably gonna stick to one video a week and bring y'all hauls uh, thrift with me's and I can do like a little bit more um, longer videos i guess if y'all like the longer videos so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate that and i'm trying to grow my channel so if y'all could share watch my other videos i have a lot of thread up videos to watch um, a lot of hauls and don't forget to check me out on my other um, socials like um, TikTok. And I'm going to be probably posting on Instagram as well. Um, some behind the scene footage. So I guess I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye.